Hi everyone, John here at Tormach Tech. Today we're going to show you guys how to connect your network adapter to your PathPilot. Okay, so just come over to the status tab, click on the internet button, and we're going to locate the NIC. Uh, this is the uh, network interface card. E0 represents the wired Ethernet on your PathPilot. If you're doing a wireless installation, you're going to see your wireless adapter in here, um, and in which case, when you uh, select connect, it's going to ask you for the credentials for your wireless uh, router. So we're going to select the E0 and connect. And it's going to connect to that. You'll notice over on the right hand side here, uh, you'll see that the internet light is now green, which is indicating that it is actually connected to the network. Okay, and you can see the status is updated. It, th it now says it's connected. And now we can move on to part two, mapping the drive or connecting to the G-code share. We're, we're at our desktop here. We're gonna click this little yellow folder here uh, and launch that. Now, remember, this is assuming that you are now connected uh, to your, your router or connected via a Cat5 line, uh, you know, hard, hard connected to your network. And you'll know that because you'll see that in the status page that the green light is actually lit on the internet button. Assuming that's done, uh, we can come to this here screen, which is just that little yellow folder down in the tray. Uh, when, you, when you get to here, we're looking for this PC. It's right here. We click on that. We're going to go to the top. We're going to click Computer, and then Map Network Drive. That's going to pop up this dialog. Uh, you can select any one of the letters of drives that you choose. This can be whatever is not currently populated with something. Uh, so letter does not matter. And then in here is where we're going to put in our, just like the example shows here, our server and our share. A server is the name that's currently in your PathPilot under network name in the settings page. Ours is currently test4. So backslash backslash test4 backslash g code. Just like that. So just like this example shows, backslash backslash. Test4, that's the name of the uh, PathPilot, and then G-Code is the name of the share. We want to click the reconnect at sign-in and, and, and not the second one. And when we click finish, it should connect to our uh, PathPilot controller. And there it is. So this is the mill, and it has now mapped that. I'm going to minimize this window so I can kind of show you how that looks. And we're going to kind of resize this window and reposition this window. And now you can see uh, the, the drives that I have mapped here. Um, and over here is our new drive. So even if I close this window, I can come here and I can double click on this and it'll reopen it. So reconnecting uh, at login, that little checkbox that we had there uh, establishes this for every time that we reboot this controller, it's gonna automatically connect to this. And that concludes this video. If you have any other questions, refer to the information on the screen. Uh, you can give us a, uh, a call or email us at support at or info at Thanks for watching.